Paul Ring is St. John's Regatta royalty. Rowing got in his blood as a boy. All my family at the time, my father, my uncles, I were participating, so I guess it rubbed off on me. It rubbed off on his daughter, Tina, too. This is her 30th year rowing, most of them with her dad. I remember back as far as my grandfather, of course, and uncles, cousins, everybody rowing, right from the time I was a toddler by the lake. The regatta itself is part sports event, part carnival. Once called the poor man's holiday, working class men competed in the races and townsfolk enjoyed a day out. Women started competing regularly in 1949. These days, the regatta attracts some 50,000 people every year for food, fun, and games of chance. Next stroke together, girls. But for the rowing teams, the regatta is serious business. Months of hitting the pond at the crack of dawn to practice. 907, 908. That hard work paid off for Ring and his team in 1981 when they broke an 80-year record. Jimmy Ring and the boys have rowed their way into the history books. Ring's father, Jimmy, was the coxswain the steersman who coached their team to victory. Like his father before him, Ring steers and coaches his daughter's team. He's definitely known for his turns at the bottom of the lake and keeping everybody focused and motivated in the race. She's a good listener, and that makes the job a lot easier. I think rowing is addictive. You meet different people, you know, you meet a lot of good people down here. And as long as he's able, on regatta day, Paul Ring wouldn't dream of being anywhere else but here at Kitty Vitty Lake. Chris O'Neill Yates, CBC News, St. John's. So at the end of the day, today's landmark event attracted 155 crews, the most ever in the regatta's history. And that wasn't the only record broken. A crew called M5 broke the old women's race record in their morning qualifier, and they beat it by a hair, six tenths of a second, in a race just under five minutes. Then, after that, they won the whole thing, being crowned this year's women's champion.